we're gonna start with packing the hookah. That's how today is gonna start. Today's video is gonna be a little different. It's gonna be in third person. You're gonna see a lot of me instead of me going like this. So today we're gonna to be working on the Z yet again, another video. Um, today it's gonna to be the fuel pump, but I'm not gonna change the pump. I'm gonna change the entire assembly. It's just so much easier. I found the guy who was parting out his 350Z, met him, chillest dude ever. I got a few parts off of him. I also got the fuel pump assembly. Last week, I changed the crankshaft position sensor on the Z. If you didn't see that video, I linked it up here. I don't have the issue as much, but my car still sometimes fails to catch. It cranks, but it doesn't catch all the way, and I think it's my fuel pump. If you have any questions regarding how to diagnose a bad fuel pump, ask below and I'll get back to you. All right, so this is the part. This is the entire assembly. The fuel pump is some is right here in here. I'm not gonna take any of that out. Drop this into the Z. This right here, my fellow Z brothers and sisters, is your sensor that tells you how much fuel you have in your tank. FYI. So wait, where's where's your fuel pump? The fuel pump is right this thing. No, no, like where's the assembly go in your car? Oh, right behind the passenger seat. Where? It's right behind, it's right under this. Take this off, take your mat off. The fuck? What? Wait, before you open it, what do you think's inside? Money? All right, if it's money, we're splitting it. What, it's like a love, Hey, beautiful. What? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, back to the video. All right, so uh, once you take that out. All right, so you just got to pop that out of there. That's where your fuel assembly is. All right. So take a flathead screwdriver. that's off um disconnect disconnect that which just it should just pop out like that now um i would recommend getting rags before disconnecting this because there's going to be feel there and you don't want um you don't want to make a mess so i'm gonna get a rag and be right back and we're back with a rag just get the rag and kind of encompass the entire thing so pop that off It's okay if you get fuel. It's fine. All right. That's what the rag is for. All right. What would you do if it just did not stop leaking oil? I actually got so uh, leaking gas. Leaking gas. I actually got really scared. I was like, "What is going on?" Because the guy that was parting out his Z, it didn't splash that much. But I guess my line was primed. That's why. So now, all you do is take your Phillips and just unscrew these. Do, 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 that just comes off, put it to the side. And now, time for the assembly. So there's a fuel line, it's a um, exit line, which you have to make sure you uh, disconnect. So it'll make your life easier. I'm trying to find out where it is. Right here, that black line is what's gonna, um, I don't know what it is, you just disconnect it. <laughs> you just pull it out, like so. It's out. 
I'm still smelling fuel. Fuck my life. My entire cabin smells like gas. Now that exit line that you took out, you need to get. I'm gonna go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> After that's in, you get your plat, you get your metal mesh, mesh, metal, whatever, whatever it's called. It's it this way, I think so. Yeah. All right, now we just gotta put all the screws back in. All right, so make sure you just tighten all the screws. It's six screws, and then you're just retracing your steps. This. Wait, wait, the love letter. No, I don't care about the love letter. Try to hear it. That was a rough start. Because you have to prime it. Try it again. To prime. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys learned something today. I think I'm gonna end the video here. So, take my tip, comment, quote, whatever you guys wanna call it. Be patient and trust the process. I'll see you guys next week.